Hey guys, uh, as you can tell from the title of the video, we will be looking at making reflex tracks and leveler. For this first one, we're just going to start off with the basics of leveler and how to navigate and uh, some of the things that you'll need to do so that you can have your track uh, ready to go. So, we've got leveler open. We're going to go to the new file and in our resolutions we can choose from a selection we're going to do 1024 for this one then you have coordinate systems and uh, unless you're <laughs> really knowledgeable about the geographic one I don't touch that one at all uh, I only end up using one of these two Raster is just like uh, arbitrary. It doesn't have like set uh, heights and elevations. So you're working with pixels. And so it's based on uh, a model. So then when you put it into D, then your highest amount of pixels would be your height. Uh, yeah, your highest height value. And then in local, we're going to deal with uh, actual measurements and you know we can see what uh, we have going on so since there's the most steps to do when you choose local we're going to do local and click OK and we've got two screens here for this uh, map over here I like to move it over here so I can see better and this is the top down of our map so to first start off with, we'll just do simple navigation. So at first, when Leveler loads up, you've got the camera tool activated. So we'll left click and rotate around. This lets us move uh, up and down and around. Then we can, with our middle mouse, we can click and we can move around in space, much as we can do here. And then with our uh, mouse, we can scroll in and out the middle mouse wheel. Yeah. It, alternatively, um, sometimes you'll find this useful, especially when you have a tool that you are using. You can use the space bar to go in between these tools as well. So keep that in mind. It's handy to have when uh, you're working with blur or your dig and raise tools and you're going back and forth and you need to look around and check and see what it looks like. That type of thing. So let's start off with our elevation limits. So we can go there uh, a couple of different ways. We can either go to edit and go to elevation limits or we can just click over here with our move tool right click and elevation limits. Here we're going to set our height and our minimum values. For this one I'm not worried about the height as much so we'll just deal with this so that we don't go down in the map at all so if we uh, were to have chose uh, an elevation that went beyond zero it won't do that at all because we don't want that then we're going to go to navigate and go to ground extents we're going to choose feet <coughs> And then we're going to go back again so that it uh, readjusts everything here. So it's telling us that a pixel width is uh, just about three feet, a little over three feet. And I want that to be one foot. And then we're going to go to our elevation mapping. And Right now, as you can see, we have meters in here, and down here we have our feet displayed, but we still have uh, these meters. So, 
to change that, we go to elevation mapping. And then we're going to scroll up and find feet. And now it says we have feet. So now we are good to go on building jumps. So I'm going to scroll in here. And the first tool that you'll need is the selection tool. There's four different ones. Um, but right now, I'm only going to show you uh, just what we need to do to start making jumps. So we're choosing this one. You can change the constraint if you wanted it to be a straight square. But I want to add width or uh, length to mine. So let's do something like this and 60. That's fine. Um, so how do you make a jump? You go over here to your ramp, this right triangle. And in here, we want to have linear for our ramp, our style. Uh, we're going to build a takeoff, so concave is going to give you the uh, typical takeoff that you would need. And then we're going to choose add. I only use replace and add. Most of this stuff I don't have much experience working with because I haven't really needed to use it. But for now we're going to choose add because we're only adding to our flat surface. So we're gonna zoom. We're going to zoom in here. And get that sec uh, get that section in here. Let's make it 10. Anytime you click in here and you adjust the value, you need to click over here. Or if you adjusted this value, you need to click back over here, one or the other, because it will not save that until it's uh, unchecked. And you can't like hit enter to make it save it. So let's do something like that. And now we can go in our scene here and see. So now I've got the ramp tool activated, but say I want to navigate. So I just hit my space bar and now I have my camera. And now I can get a little bit of a better idea of what it looks like from the side. But now we want our ramp tool back. So what do we do? We shift through. And now we're back to our ramp tool. It basically keeps these three here uh, in at all times. And then whatever tool you have activated currently uh, is what the fourth selection is. So now we want to keep the style concave, but we want to go down 10. So we got a nice even slope. Make sure you click over there. And then we want to get close to this line as possible. And then I'm just clicking and holding shift to keep it straight, just like you would do in Photoshop. And so now we've got a nice uh, even takeoff. We got enough room here to make the landing. So we're going to change our style to smooth. Choose 10 as well. And somewhere right about where the zero feet is. And then negative 10. And we'll go all the way to the edge. And now we've got a nice double. And then we control D to deselect the selection. Then what else could we change? Well, say we didn't like the, the peak of this. 
so it's not as uh, elevated like we would like. Well, we can go and pick maybe about halfway up the ramp and halfway down the ramp and click our ramp tool again and then I'd say go up in increments of either one to two we'll choose two just to see what it does and we want concave because we want to keep doing the same type of thing so click and shift mm, so close that'll work as you can see it already lifted it up pretty pretty uh, high just from that because you're already going to definitely <laughs> over jump this thing now but for terms of the tutorial get an idea of how to adjust your elevation on a previously made jump there we go and so it is a bit steep um, but if this was a super cross and you were just you know coming right out of a corner or something that might be acceptable so um, I think for now we are done with what we're doing here so uh, I will see you guys in the next video and we will continue on with uh, this jump and many other jumps so I will see you guys later